Good afternoon, chat. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, chat. Can you tell me about yourself? I'm Chat Langkaw. I'm married and I have two kids. I'm a hard working. Okay. I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Okay, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid because I want to earn uh, money, some money. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I want to know their culture there, ma'am, and I want to I want to work for Asian national nationality. How are you qualified for this job? I'm a hard working ma'am and I'm I will do my best. May I know what your educational level is? High school graduate ma'am. What was your recent working experience? Domestic helper, ma'am. Have you worked abroad before? Yes, ma'am. Which country was that? Wait, ma'am. For how many years? For nine years, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. How about children? Yes, ma'am. Whose children and baby are you taking care of? My, baby, my employer, ma'am. Do you have experience taking care of elderly? Yes, ma'am. Whose elderly are you taking care of? My grandfather, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? A little massage, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino foods and Arabic foods, ma'am. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, which do you like most? Cleaning the house. Washing clothes, ironing clothes, and cooking, ma'am. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My husband and my parents, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. It's okay, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your attitude? I'm a hard working mom, I'm a discipline, and I'm honest mom. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will hard I will work hard mom. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will finish my contract mom. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup or dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite any friends without permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. 
Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergies, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation before? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of different races? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any family members working in abroad? Yes, ma'am. Which country was that? Malaysia, ma'am. Whose family members? Sister, ma'am. Sister, working as? Domestic helper, ma'am. Is it same agency? No, ma'am. Still right now here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, chat, we have finished our question section. Let's proceed for case study. Yes, I have a case study for you and I want you to respond truthfully. Yes, ma'am. Okay, upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever one of your family members passed away, what will you do? I will talk to my employer, ma'am. If they will let me go, then I will go. But if they didn't, ma'am, then I will respect what decision they have. And I will finish my contract. Okay, um... Chat, if ever your employer is watching you right now, what do you want to tell them? Hi, mom. Have a nice day. I am Chat Langkau. If you take me as one of your domestic helper, I will promise that I work. I will work hard, and I will respect, and I will be honest for you, and I will be sure that I will finish my contract. Okay. Thank you, mom. Thank you again, um, Chat. Tell us yes. about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I'm Chat Langkau, ma'am, and I will work. I will want. I want to work as a domestic helper in Malaysia because I need some money to earn. Okay, thank you very much, Chat. We yeah. will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Okay, ma'am.